What's up guys, we're going to be installing the XFCE desktop environment on Black Arch Linux. You may not have noticed this the first time you log in, but we actually have an option to choose different desktops down in the bottom left of the splash screen here. By default, Fluxbox is chosen. And just so you know, there are some other settings here that can be quite useful, such as the keyboard layout. In my case, I would want to set that to GB before logging in so that it maps more accurately to my existing keyboard. Now we can see at the moment we don't have the XFCE desktop environment option. That's because it's not installed at this stage. So let's just log in as usual with our Fluxbox window manager. And we're going to install the XFCE desktop environment. So let's fire up a terminal. And we're going to run the command pacman. We're already as root at the moment. We don't need the sudo pacman hyphen s and the name of the packages we want to install. So we want xfce4 and xfce4 hyphen goodies. So it's saying there are actually 15 packages in the group xfce4. We're just going to take them all for now, which is the default option here. And in xfce4 goodies, Again, there are 35 packages. If you want, you could pick and choose. You could enter a selection. We're just going to take everything for now. It's giving us information about the install. It's saying it will download about 33 meg of items. And once they are unpackaged, they're gonna take up about 102 meg space. Proceed with installation, yes. So we're getting a 404 error on one of the packages. I'm just going to quickly run pacman-syu, let's just make sure everything's upgraded. All right, the upgrade's out of the way. By the way, if you have any problems with that step, check out my video, Upgrading Black Arch Linux. Let's try running our command again, pacman-s xfce4 and xfc4 hyphen goodies yes we'll take all of those packages proceed with the installation that already looks better this time so if you get that 404 it might just be necessary to run the update command again pacman hyphen syu okay that's installed now if we'd booted into the command line, we'd use the command start xfce4. That's probably not going to make a lot of sense at this stage because we're already in a visual environment. So the most logical thing for us to do is to exit. And once we log out, if we check the bottom left, we should be able to see the option xfce session. So let's choose that and let's simply log in as normal. And this time, it should fire up the XFC desktop environment. Now, if this looks eerily similar to regular Arch Linux, it's because that's what Black Arch basically is. It's simply Arch Linux with a bunch of Black Arch packages installed over the top. So another way of installing Black Arch is essentially to install regular Arch and then pull in all the packages from the Black Arch repository. Now, since this looks kind of like regular Arch and not Black Arch right now, I would guess the key difference is the wallpaper. Not really sure what this mouse is meant to be. So let's fix that right now. We're going to go into our file system. We're going to go into the downloads folder and there we're going to find some Black Arch wallpaper. Let's set that as wallpaper. Now it starts to look a bit more like Black Arch, apart from we have all of the features of the XFCE desktop. So for example, we have a drop down box here with the names of all the programs. If we want our Black Arch packages specifically, we can find them here in this menu. You might wonder, well, what's the point of Fluxbox when we can just install XFCE? Fluxbox is very lightweight. It's extremely good for older, slower systems, or if you just don't really feel you need all of these GUI aspects here, the drop down menu and the visual representation of the different programs. But some users will prefer this, especially if you've had XFCE installed on regular Arch, or you may be coming from a background where you're used to a more graphical heavy user interface. 
that's fine. You can use the XFCE4 package as we've done. Now, one quick request, we're just going to be installing the PyCharm package. So we're gonna run the command pacman s PyCharm. So this is an IDE for Python. You can see we're not finding it right now. So let's try a pacman ss PyCharm. Let's see what's with that. We might need to type PyCharm Community Edition. So let's try that. So pacman hyphen s PyCharm Community Edition. Let's pull that in. Proceed with installation, yes. So if you don't want to run all of your programs from the command line, you might find the XFCE package useful because once this is installed, it's going to be added to our applications menu. So we'll be able to launch PyCharm without having to run it from the terminal. All right, so now that's installed, let's see if we can find it in the applications menu. We're going to check out development. That seems to be the logical place for it. And note we have PyCharm Community Edition, so it's possible for us to launch that from the Applications menu. Perhaps it's even possible to create a desktop icon. Just drag and drop that from the Application menu. Double click on that. Now it's saying the desktop file PyCharm, the desktop is an insecure location and not marked as executable. So we want to just mark that as executable. Let's try running that. Yep, we agree to absolutely everything here, PyCharm. Thanks for that. And we're not going to send you statistics right now. We don't want you to figure out that we never read the agreement. And there we go, PyCharm up and running. Whereas over on the Fluxbox side of things, probably would have had to type PyCharm or maybe PyCharm Community Edition to get it running. You can see PyCharm does the trick there. Then we have this terminal window that PyCharm is dependent on. And if we get rid of this terminal window, it's going to close PyCharm. So I guess that's part of the annoying aspect of running it from the command line. So there we go, launching PyCharm from the GUI. And you can see as well, we have many of the other features a typical desktop environment would have while still being lightweight. XFCE4 is one of the more lightweight desktop environments but it's not quite as bare bones as Fluxbox. So you can decide which you prefer based on your preferences and your needs.